What's up guys, Gormo here and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we have our Euro 2020 predictions. As you can see on the screen, we're going to run through them in a minute. But before we get into the predictions, if you are new, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the videos. Obviously a bit of a different one, it's not FIFA related, however it's still football related. With obviously the Euros kind of being involved in FIFA for the next month, why not make one? Obviously for me... As you can tell by the background, we're very much England themed. The England flags are out, the England scarves are out, the England shirt is on. So hopefully, you know, it is going to be that it's coming home. I would love it. The next few maybe weeks over a month, I'm probably not going to be here as much because I want to try and make the most of the Euros being on with the summer being out, with the fact that my friends have just finished school. I can obviously make the most of my time. So maybe videos are going to be few and far between Um, personally yes that's not the best but at the same time I want to make the most of the summer that we have and the Euros that we have football on pretty much every day for the next month even if we're going to be watching I don't know North Macedonia versus Ukraine that's going to be a game that I want to watch I want to watch everything coming in so we may as well hop into my predictions I've gone through and pre-selected all of the groups just saves constantly trying to switch up. But yeah, these are how I'm predicting. So Group A, Italy versus Switzerland is obviously the first game. Hopefully, oh sorry, it's Italy versus Turkey for the first game. Sorry, tonight. Hopefully it's going to be a good game. By the time you're watching this, this game will already happened. So you'll know the results. You'll know how Group A is already standing. But for me, I can see Italy top in the group, a very good team all round. Wales probably coming in second. I feel like, They've got enough talent, they've got enough youth talent that they could do very, very well. And then I've just got the sneaky suspicion that Turkey aren't going to do as well as people are predicting. The only thing is, maybe I'd swap them around. We're going to feel, we're going to finalise with that. That's going to be Group A. Group B, again, very similar in Belgium, are probably going to walk away with it. They're currently number one in the world ranking, so I can only see them walking away with it. Denmark. Being second, I feel like compared to Russia and Finland, they've got the better team. So, again, Denmark likely to finish second and go through for Group C. Netherlands, again, another team that's probably going to walk away with the top of the table. And then trying to choose between Ukraine and Austria, not the best. But I feel like Austria, again, have a bit more talent on the side compared to Ukraine. More of an older team, it feels like. But, again, there's quite a few good players in there. So, maybe... That's not going to be the best. Maybe things will change and Ukraine will finish second, Austria third. But North Macedonia, I really can't see them doing well. If you've got them in one of them sweeps that everybody's doing, unlucky, you're probably going to go out the first few games. But the biggest one for me, obviously Group D. I'm going with England to win. I, I just feel like, yes, we if we win, then we have to play the runners-up of Group F, which could be quite difficult. But I feel like we've got the ability to win it. The only other team I can see winning it is obviously Croatia. If we finish second, we play against a Group E team. So that might be a little bit better for us. However, who knows what will happen. We've also got Scotland in this group with us. So I feel like they're going to finish third. And then Czech Republic being last. Group E, Spain, then Poland, Sweden, then Slovakia. Again, Spain probably just going to be walking away with it. Poland, again, strong back line. A decent midfield, really good attack. Obviously, with Lewandowski being the best in the world right now, I feel. He's going to kind of carry them towards the second place to obviously get them through to the next round. Sweden, missing out with Ibra, probably don't have as much talent compared to Poland. So again, could see a switch around in them, but I feel like that's going to how that's finished. And then Group F, the biggest group, France, Portugal, Germany and Hungary. Hungary bottom last, unless they can pull out one of their miracle performances. I really can't see anything happening for them. Germany, especially with the first few preseason games, they have been poor. Again, drawing to North Macedonia, I can see them finishing third. Maybe they'll be part of the best third finishers, but Portugal probably going to finish second. Again, a lot of talent in that team, but France are more than likely just going to walk away with it. Their few games that they've played before the Euros have been fantastic, so... I can probably see them doing pretty well in that. And then what does happen here is it goes to the best four third place teams will then also go through. So not only do we have the, what would it be, 6, 12, 
12 teams going through. We've then got another four teams. So Germany, Sweden, Scotland and Turkey, I feel like are going to be, I guess, the best finishing in terms of points. However, you could see Sweden and Ukraine, because of the groups that they're in, they could finish with a lot of draws. So again, boosting them up in terms of points or getting the odd win here or there. It could be really interesting to see how that comes out because we could see maybe Russia beat Germany in terms of positions because of the fact that Germany have such a high performing group. Who knows what will happen with the fourth place ones. I think that's a lot harder to predict because you're having to go with looking back on the group, who's going to get more points, all of that type of stuff is not easy to predict. But that's how the groups are going to look. We will continue on and hopefully... It will obviously generate everything for us. So our first game will be Belgium versus Sweden. Again, I can only see Belgium winning that game. A very, very strong team. Again, the game after will be Italy-Austria. For me, Italy probably going to win that. Then we have France versus Turkey. Again, Turkey probably just not going to be strong enough to compete against them. So France will be going through. Croatia versus Poland will be a fun game to watch. Croatia, again, getting to the World Cup finals, having really good runs in tournaments recently. Poland, not really up there in terms of the best in the world. So I'd probably go with Croatia would be the team to then go through. Spain versus Scotland. I could see Scotland getting a result here, but the likelihood is Spain are going to field a strong team. They're probably more likely to win. Then England versus Portugal. I can see England beating Portugal. In terms of the defence, we'd probably be able to beat them in the midfield and the defence. So therefore, we could probably get through, break them down a little bit. Would be interesting to see how that game would play out if that was to happen. Netherlands versus Germany, another big game. I can see the Netherlands winning that. Again, in terms of recent performances, in terms of squad depth, in terms of squad ability right now. Yes, the Dutch are missing Van Dijk, but I feel like that's not going to matter too much. Their defence is strong enough as it is right now. So, again, they'll probably walk away with that. And then Denmark versus Wales. Again, Denmark likely to go through there. So, the round of 16, some big teams being knocked out, some big teams going through. It'll be interesting to see how the round of 16 will eventually play out. I'm not 100% sure on how far into the tournament that is. It must be about the second week mark. So, hopefully... We'll get some good games for that. And then following that, we do get some really good games after it being Belgium versus Italy. Again, Belgium are the top team in the world right now. They're likely to go through there. France versus Croatia. France being the best European team right now, I feel. They're probably going to go through. England versus Spain. I can see England winning. I really can see England beating them. And then the Dutch versus the Danish. We're probably going to see the Dutch win that if that game's to happen, obviously. And then to get to the finals, to be in the semi-finals, Belgium versus France, England versus Netherlands. I mean, it's an interesting set of results to predict, but I'd probably say France have the ability over Belgium, and so they'll probably be in the final. The Dutch versus England, I've got to st I'm staying loyal. I feel like England can beat the Dutch on the day. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. And then to win a France versus England final would be unbelievable. If this is the final to happen, France are going to win. However, because it is coming home, therefore, I'm predicting England to be the winners of the Euro 2020. Obviously, it's optimistic. It's probably not going to happen. Likelihood is France or probably Belgium are likely to win. Um, But yeah. They're my predictions. Obviously, a bit of a shorter video for today in terms of a bit different, bit of a prediction video. Hopefully, we can be right. I think we'll probably revisit this at the end of the Euros, run through the video and go, okay, well, actually, you know, Belgium got knocked out in the groups and so did the Netherlands and all of that. We'll see what happens. But for now, that is where we're going to leave it for today. I'll be back tomorrow with another video for FIFA. But for now, I'm out. Peace.